conclusion inevitable. It was a jump to conclusions, Matt. My conclusion was that this idea was not a practical deterrent. My only conclusion can be that it was a Sith Lord. In conclusion. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to In Conclusion, the only movie podcast that can't go under 50 miles an hour. Otherwise, Cameron Fry will die. I'm Dan O'Keefe, and joining me as always is Anna Otto. Anna, how are you? Dan, I'm lovely. I got to see you over the weekend. I was really proud of myself because I didn't suck at kayaking. <laughs> you didn't? You were perfectly average, like the rest Ooh, that's of us? Huge for me. I was so nervous. Really? And yeah, I was like, I haven't kayaked in ages. What if I suck ass? <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be like, wait for me, guys. But I made it, and I'm really proud of myself. That was a I'm small proud victory of you too. for a little old Anna. Thank you. <laughs> How are you, Dan? I'm good. Yes, I I did see you this weekend. It was my bachelor party. It was very mm-hmm. fun. I had a great time. I had a great time too. It was really really fun. I yes. enjoyed myself thoroughly. Very low key. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite part of the evening was when you announced that you thought you were going to barf. That was fucking hilarious. Uh, the full context is, mm-hmm. I came out of the bathroom after having been there for a few minutes, thinking I was going to throw up. I came out and announced, I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't, so I'm going to go to sleep. I was really proud of you for not throwing up. Yes, I was proud of me too. I want you to know. Thank you. I have Good. a strong stomach. You're welcome. You do. I'm proud of you, Dan. Uh, Normally, I say God gives his hardest battles to his weakest tummies. (laughs) Not his weakest tummies. Not me, though. I have a regular tummy. I would have barfed if it was me. You know I would have. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) I had two gin and tonics and woke up the next morning feeling really anxious, which only happens when I drink. And I was like, oh, no, (laughs) I'm a lame nerd. I was like, why do I feel like so tightly wet? Oh, I had two drinks last night. (laughs) That's uh, two drinks. That's it. (sighs) I'm old. I don't know what to say. Well, I don't get get anxious from drinking or being hungover either. So That's very lucky. However much I had doesn't really matter. I had 45 drinks. Not 45. 45 shots. Oh, you'd be dead, Dan. Yes. I did. When we were at, we went out to a couple bars, and at the last one, my brother ordered six waters, but I didn't hear did what they... he ordered. I just heard him get, could I get six of those? And I was like, what are you getting? Please oh. don't. <laughs> Don't get anything. It's because I was trying my hardest to not be a party pooper, so I drank a lot. Like I got water at almost every bar we went to. Sure, yeah. That's a. Why was that a party pooper? You were drinking water. Who gives you? You're right. I just wanted to make sure I could hang (laughs) when I was hanging with the boys. Like we should have been watching Top Gun. Honestly, we should have. Honestly, that would have been great. Um, Mm -hmm. I yeah, I am reminded that you are the person who got drunk off of three quarters of a beer at buffalo wild wings we don't need to talk about my past today (laughs) we've all made mistakes in our past like drinking almost a full beer when i saw some of the the party members get two big beers at the Mm -hmm. pizza restaurant we went to i was like simply could not be me girl (laughs) simply couldn't be me I'm sure the people listening to this really care about this. I know. They're well, very I like invested. telling them our stories. Yeah, they need to know that we had a fun weekend together. We did. It was everything an 80s montage would tell you it should be, you know? We didn't uh, steal a cop car, though. Unfortunately, no. It did rain. It did. It rained today here in Los God, Angeles. Dan, you're bringing the rain with you. I am. I was out on my bike ride. It was very fun because it was only like a, a little, little harder than a drizzle for maybe five minutes. And I was like, oh, okay. oh what a beautiful Polish car wash. 
oh, I've never heard that term before. That's, uh, I was told that when I was younger, that like biking in the rain, it's a Polish car wash. That feels vaguely offensive. <laughs> sure. I had dinner with my friend who is 100% Polish, and she uh-huh. used the Polish slur and to like say you can't do something as a Polish person in this community because people will think you are a and I like clutched my pearls <laughs> even though like <laughs> she was just telling a story I still was like oh my god my goodness <laughs> like oh my god why am I the pearl clutcher how did you use I'm that pearl- word why um, we should just love each other and then I realized I was like wait <laughs> she can do whatever the fuck she wants um, in this context, for the record. Let's get into the movie. Let's, let's do it to it. The movie that we're talking about today is Speed. One word. That's it. I thought this movie was going to be dumb as fuck before I started it. I'm going to start there and just let okay. you know. I love it. That's a good expectation to go into this with. I wow. fucking ate this shit up with a spoon, though. That's the problem with me, personally. Speed, directed by Jan de Bont. He slayed. Uh, the cinematographer for the film Cujo. <gasps> my soul just left my body. That's and what those sounds were. Also, after Speed, this was his directorial debut. After Speed, he directed Twister. Oh, I had that movie on, on DVD. Ooh. Yeah, because when I was in a production of Wizard of Oz, somebody gave it to me because it was my senior year. That was my, like, senior gift. Wow, what a dumb senior gift. Not to insult this yeah, person. But no, you bad. can insult them. It was stupid. Okay. I'll insult them. It was stupid. <laughs> uh, written by Graham Yost and with uncredited major rewrites by Joss Whedon. Wait, we don't like Joss Whedon, right? No. Which is the one that was a pee pee poo poo head and like assaulted women? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, Dang it. Starring Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock, Joe Morton, Jeff Daniels, and Alan Ruck. I'm going to give a very not hot take. Keanu Reeves was hot during this yes. movie. I was like, fuck. Every time he hot, was hot. chewing the gum, I was like, What's going on here? 30-year-old Keanu Reeves. He can do it. He can get it. Um, Released on July 7th, 1994. So, you know, sorry, June 7th, 1994. Almost Mm -hmm. 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. With a budget of $30 million, it made $350.4 million at the box office. Nice. Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 95% approval rating with an average rating of 8.1 out of 10. A terrific popcorn thriller. Speed is taut, tense, and energetic with outstanding performances from Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, and Sandra Bullock. A bitch really thought this game, this movie was going to suck. I really did. I thought it's, it was going to be so bad. Well, that's because on the surface, it is. it is the dumbest idea. Yeah. I mean, the well, next movie. Eh, yeah. But... Oh, no. They have to keep driving a bus? Oh, wrong. No, Incredible. I ate it up. I literally ate it up with a spoon. Incredible. Also, mm-hmm. Dennis Hopper eating the walls. It was giving. The whole, oh. every performance was giving. Gage was like, do you need to rewatch the movie before you record because it's been a while? And I was like, no, I got this movie on lock, honestly. <laughs> I thought it was it was also very fun for me living in Los Angeles now, trying to figure out the places that they filmed at. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Pershing Square. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> the highway that they filmed on. It's not the You've one that they say it is, but I've been on it. Well, mm, it's never the one they say it is. No, this one, they... They were building a highway in L.A. at the time. It was basically complete, but hadn't opened yet. So mm. they could film on it without really impeding traffic or anything. Got it. Yes. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Speed. What a fun, what a well-made movie. It's just exactly it's just everything you would want in a 
this like it's a dumb action movie, but that's it's the perfect dumb action movie. It was a sleigh all around. I don't even know what to say. It right? just was. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's start off. There's a elevator, and there's a bomb. And guess what happens in the elevator? A bomb goes what off. Happens? Everyone's screaming, especially me, because two seconds into this movie, I'm like, I'm locked in. <laughs> yes. Uh, they are being held ransom for $3 million by Howard Payne. Who is an extortionist bomber? Uh, Classic. They, the two LAPD officers, SWAT bomb disposal officers Jack Traven and Harry Temple. Ugh, dude That's names. a horrible name. Dude <laughs> names. Harry Temple. That's such a bad name. Like, <laughs> whose idea was this? It's like, hi, my name's Amanda Hug and Kiss. Not Amanda hug and kiss. A bald man named Harry Temple crying in the uh, corner. Literally, fate is a cruel mistress. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so as they get the initial hostages out of the falling elevator, um, they find Howard Payne, played by Dennis Hopper, uh, who is just wonderful. Dennis Hopper is also like was also a real life insane person. So I'm pretty sure he was just kind of playing himself in the movie. Really? Yeah. Oh. Not insane and in, more insane in like a Gary Busey way than in a hmm. really you know, negative should way. Should be in the hospital way. Um maybe not that. Okay. Just, just angry. An ang- a very serious angry man. That's a little sad. Yeah. Yeah. I just um, I like happiness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like happiness. I Why like can't happiness. we all just hold hands and be friends? Why can't we, you know? Um so he takes Harry Temple hostage. Dennis Hopper does. Harry I'm Temple. Sorry, I'm gonna laugh every fucking time you say that name. Emmy Award winner Jeff Daniels. Do you know what he won an Emmy for? Is it something I'll know? Uh, it's the newsroom. Oh, yeah, I would have never guessed that. Dennis Hopper is not is an Academy Award winner. Academy Award I don't nominee. Know, Dan, is he? Okay. I'm so sorry. I laughed because I'm such a child. Did you hear that? <laughs> He was nominated for Best Original Screenplay for Easy Rider and Best Supporting Actor for Hoosiers, neither of which he won. Mm. Uh, Tough break. But they have, he has Harry Temple held hostage. Uh, and to get out of this jam, Jack shoots Harry in the leg. That part had me screaming, honestly. I knew uh, it was going to happen, but I still screamed. And also... Uh, Keanu Reeves looked hot the whole time. I know of I said that already, but I'm just reiterating. Keanu Reeves just gets hotter throughout the movie, which is really difficult to do considering that he starts out at like a nine. He starts out at a solid ten, Dan. Don't cut the man short. Uh, the, I don't. The, the bomb disposal uniform doesn't work. Oh, that's why it's at a nine. It did for Mama. Like in the next scene when he's just in his street clothes and like the t-shirt and the flannel and jeans. Oh, see, like that's an outfit I would wear. That's the problem. Well, that's. Are you not into outfits you would wear? I see. Uh, I saw Ken's outfits in Barbie, and I was like, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> I would wear all of those. That's very fair. I don't have the body. I don't fair. care. I love you, it. Anybody could have the body, Dan. You could pull off the Ken. You have the Kenergy. That's what matters. Thank you. That's high You're praise. Mm-hmm. Um, so Dennis Hopper releases him and detonates the bomb, making it look like he killed himself. Bet he's not going to come back. I fell for it. I fucking fell for it. I was like, wow, movie's over. <laughs> <laughs> when so he came weird. back, I dead ass no said to Gage, who is that? Because I'm fucking stupid, <laughs> Dan. I'm stupid. Uh, so uh, a little later, they're getting praised by their lieutenant. Keanu Reeves is not getting promoted. Harry is, though, so he gets a desk job now. Congrats for him. 
mm-hmm. out of the well, line. He also Jacob. has only one working leg, so. Okay. Wow. Ableist much? I'm just saying. I'm sorry. It's a very uh, mobile job. You know who survived the explosion? Dennis Hopper. Who? He's watching from oh, afar. Yeah. He's a former cop. Yeah, that kind of freaked me out because that was a little too real. <laughs> uh, and then the next morning, we see a, a young Sandra Bullock. Gorgina. Running did you to. See his partner just passed away? I did. He had ALS. That's oh, really sad. Yeah. Very sad. Okay, sorry. Continue. Uh, so sorry for your loss, Sandra. She's listening. She she will. I'm just she sending her good vibes that. through the no, ether. Yeah. Um. So she's running for the bus. She's a she's a regular on this bus. She knows mm-hmm. the bus driver. She knows the people on it. Uh, she knows fucking a, everybody. A tourist on the bus, played by Alan Ruck, who plays Cameron Fry in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Connor Roy on Succession. Uh, oh. He tries to to hit her up. Okay, you hate him. I love him. Oh, no, the mm was because I was thinking about him and Ferris Bueller and how I thought he was way cuter than Matthew Broderick. Oh, correct, he is. Yeah, like, significantly cuter. Yeah. He's got that dead behind the eyes thing. I kind of dig it, like, a deeply, you know... A deeply depressed person. (laughs) Both in friendships and in romantic relationships, I am drawn to people who are probably introverted. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, Gage says I collect introverts, <laughs> so I think that's part of it. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. How was this work in that? What do you mean? I wouldn't say that I'm an introvert. No, you don't. You're not one of my collected introverts. I I'm can not still one of your have friends. friends who are, no, no. <laughs> I can have friends who are extroverts. Just, just like, like. I'm just not one of your trinkets. No, you're better than that. <laughs> you're above <laughs> all of them, Dan. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. Also, um, uh, I just would like to say that I, I was watching. Sorry, I just remembered because I looked at your calendar. You just turned slightly to your left to record this mm-hmm. podcast. Okay. What's up, my calendar of my, my Snoopy calendar behind me? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the one. That's that's the whole story? What is, you said you were watching something. What's happening? What? I was thinking, no, I was talking about when we were playing. Forget it. Let's just move on. What is happening? What is this? I Dan, I don't know. I don't ever know. My brain's uh, at like 20% capacity as far as working goes. Keanu, he's, he's getting coffee in the morning and he watches mm. a bus explode in front of him. Traumatic. On the streets of Santa Monica. I'm like, that could be my bus. I don't take that bus. I take a different bus. Um, I'm so, so it glad. couldn't be my. I'm good. And then he hears a payphone ringing. Oh, who's on the other line? Uh oh. Could only be a lunatic. It's Dennis Hopper. He put another bomb on another bus, and once it reaches fifty, it'll be armed. And if it goes below fifty, it's gonna blow. Freaking wild, man. So got another ransom, three point seven million dollars. A little higher this time. Got to pay for his medical bills, probably. Mm-hmm. He probably then, got a couple owies, you know. Sustained oh, a couple. Oh, he survived an elevator explosion. Yeah, sustained a few owies, like I said. And he will also remotely detonate the bus if anyone is offloaded. So we got our stakes. Keanu now has to chase after this bus. What does he do? Mm-hmm. He runs after it on the freeway. He hijacks a car. This shit had me yelling. I was dying over that. He chases after the bus, trying to get to it before it goes over 50. Um, let's just circle back to the stealing the car for a second. My favorite line was definitely, because I felt like it, it resonated with behavior of, of cops in society today, and I could see this situation happening today, where mm-hmm. the guy goes, this car's not stolen. And then Keanu goes, now it is, and takes the car. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah, the the driver of the car, perfect in his role. Just immediately, yeah, like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, God. Amazing. 10 out of 10, 
minor charactering. He, I hope he called his mom and said, I had a line. Because he had a few lines. He did. Yeah. He had a scene, one might say. This this movie's full of great minor charactering. True. Everyone True. on the bus. I mean, that's about it. But everybody on the bus, all doing a great job. I form um, strong opinions about everybody on the bus. So he gets on the bus after taking the door off of the car that he stole, mm-hmm. uh, which then crashes into the, the barrels that they have on the highway. Mm-hmm. Uh, he gets on the bus. And as he's on there, he's like, I'm a cop. No one's under arrest. We can't slow this bus down. There's a bomb on it. Uh, there's a felon on board. I, I, oh, uh, well, why did he get up? up? Like, he knows he's not the the bomb. That's you what know? I, I don't, so, I mean, I'm not a felon. I've never been put in that situation. Me either. I, my, I've never even accidentally stolen something. I don't have a fight or flight response. I have a flight or flight response. So yeah, I'm never going to be the one pointing the gun. I'm going to be the one pointing my body away from the situation. So I, I can, feel this deep in my soul. I can't answer for why he did what he did. But I'm sure he felt like he was back into a corner. I was like, this is the only way out. I got to kill this I cop. Guess. I, I guess. I mean, I personally cannot relate. I've never felt the need to kill anyone, uh, thankfully. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, oh, let's just save that. That's the one time I'm giving you permission to take something out of context. I have never felt the need to kill anyone. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you You're for your welcome. permission. You're I welcome. Won't, but thank you. You're um, welcome. So they have a little skirmish, which fires off his gun, accidentally shooting the bus driver. I screamed. He did nothing. He didn't he did deserve nothing. that. My the boy deserved bad better. He was looking rough, but we don't hold that against him, okay? Yeah. Somebody in costuming did him dirty. So then Sandra Bullock takes over as bus driver. I think she says that she does not have a license. She yeah, she's her, her license she was suspended. Yeah. Uh, suspended license? Perfect person to have to keep a bus above 50. She's not going to slow down for anything. It was because she was speeding. So, like, here we yeah. go, girl. Pedal to the metal. It's your time to shine. Unlike me, who's traumatized from the one time I was speeding and could never do this. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Nothing. I told you. I got pulled over and I was crying really hard. Because at your party, me and somebody else, I think it might have been you. It was either you or Tom. We were talking about getting speeding tickets in Rock County. <laughs> this was not me. I've never got, I don't think Tom. I've ever been in Rock County. Oh, okay. Then it was me and Tom talking about that. (laughs) Oh, I got a speeding ticket there, and it was a fat one, and I'm traumatized. Mm, The only time I've ever been pulled over for speeding was in Cudahy, Wisconsin. I was going 45 and a 30. I drove past a... uh, I I drove past a police station, and the cop immediately pulled out and pulled me over. Um... And he was like, you know how fast you were going? And I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, and then he took my license and then he came back and he was just like, slow down next time. And that oh. was it. That was the whole situation. You, you didn't even get a ticket? Didn't get a ticket. Didn't get anything. What the frick? I think it's because I resort to crying right away. Hmm. So I just look guilty when in reality I'm probably just stressed because the one time I didn't get a ticket when I got pulled over was the time somebody pulled me over because my license plates were all scratched up because they were older than my ability to drive. And um, I didn't get a ticket for that. Thank God. Were you crying though? No, I literally, I kid you not, Dan, this is at my last job. I pulled out of the parking lot, turned right onto the main street to go home and got pulled over. (laughs) <laughs> I was like get out uh, so Jack tells what's happened to the passengers there's a bomb on it they can't slow it down uh, they pop open a way to look at the bomb and Keanu has his head like inches away from the highway pavement the at 50 miles an hour yeah could be Not flattened be any sanded. second mm-hmm. do you think he would feel pain if that happened or do you think he'd just die instantly no, I think you would feel pain. Oh, that makes it so much worse. They're only going 50. 
people survive 50 mile an hour bike crashes. You'd have to just make sure your body's entirely relaxed. <laughs> You're preparing for this. You're mentally well, getting ready. I watched a video once of a guy who was drunk and fell out of a car and he got run over and it was a 16 wheeler. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have any serious injuries because he just relaxed his body so his muscles didn't tighten up. <laughs> well, that's like there's a professional wrestler who he got into like a motocross accident or something. Mm -hmm. And nothing of like long lasting damage or anything happened to him mm -hmm. because he like did not tense up at all. He just kind of like got limp. See, I'm telling you, this. I know this isn't a visual medium. For dear listener, what I did was I just went limp. <laughs> and there That's you all. have it, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they drive on an unopened freeway for a while. They then realize that the freeway is not completed, so they have to jump a gap. That shit had me stressed. They make I knew it. They were make it. We had significantly a significant portion of the movie left, but I was still stressed. Mm hmm. Uh, also, there was one, they, they convinced them to get the bus driver off so that he can get mm -hmm. medical attention, fine, whatever. But then another passenger tries to get off with him, and he blows up a smaller bomb in the bus, which kills her. Number one, she sucked. I'm not yeah. saying she deserved it, she just sucked. Number two, I screamed. That part was really sad. Zero out of ten. Came out of nowhere. Perfect. Yeah. I jumped about a foot in the air. I didn't even like her, and I was still upset. That's the sign of a good villain. I'm just saying. Um, so then they go to LAX and can just drive around the runway for a while. Just kind of fly around, you know. Take it mm -hmm. as they will. Take it as they may. Mm -hmm. uh, and when they are at LAX, they figure out that Dennis Hopper was an Atlanta PD bomb squad officer. They take SWAT to his house, which then explodes. Mm-hmm. Which... That part was sad, too, because wasn't Hopper... D D Dennis Hopper was there. He was in the house. Was right? he? I don't think he... No. Not Dennis Hopper. Jeff Daniels was. Harry That's Temple gets meant. killed. I got them confused for a second. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Temple gets Harry, killed. Yes, he gets killed. R.I.T. Rest in Temple. That part was really sad. Uh, I realized I had been in that neighborhood a couple weeks ago. It's very hilly. Oh. I had to ride my bike up a very steep hill. It was like a 14% was... incline. Hmm. Not fun. That sounds awful. Um, so in a, trying another way to defuse the bomb, Jack goes under the bus on a sled. Doesn't get it defused, but he does puncture the fuel tank after he loses control for, on the sled. And he's basically holding on an inch above the ground, really getting ready to be belt sanded. Very scary. Not but a the, fan. Zero out the of passengers, ten. The passengers pull him back on board. Hmm. And then figures out because Sandra Bullock went to Arizona. This part was weird, yeah. That after Dennis Hopper calls him Wildcat, he's like, Arizona. Arizona Wildcats. There's a camera on the bus. He's been watching us this whole time. God. That might be the most, of a lot of contrived things that happened in this movie, with physics, that might be the most contrived. This, honestly, I wonder if their arms are tired from how far they were reaching, you know? <laughs> that definitely feels like a first draft thing that somehow made it all the way through. Absolutely. Oh, they were there. He's being watched. Do they see the camera? Wildcat. They, got a, they have a Gabriella Montez-esque reaction. The problem for me is, so I'm currently wearing a shirt with Harry Styles and Niall Horan on it. Okay. If I was wearing a shirt like that and I was on the bus and Looks somebody like we could only go one direction. Yeah, I would be like, what? Like, I literally. I have no you... idea what the fuck you're talking about. 
people would be like, your shirt. I'd be like, yeah, it's it's cotton. I got it from a friend. Like, <laughs> what do you? It's cotton. Yeah, it's like a a mixed blend, maybe like a blended. They'd be like, no, no, no. Like, I just I'm not built for that kind of thing, you know. I just wouldn't get it. The... I'm not stupid, just a little bit dumb sometimes. <laughs> The police captain has the local news crew record part of the transmission of the surveillance camera and then rebroadcast it as a loop to fool Dennis Hopper. So Very they can clever. Get offloaded onto an airport bus. I love tapes. I love how they taped everything. Big ass machines to tape it and rebroadcast it. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Tape me, daddy. Taping the shit out of it. I. <laughs> There are a bunch of recordings of season one episodes of Glee on tapes in my parents' basement. Amazing. Yeah. Have you been watching them? I uh, sometimes I was because I was going through to see what was on there. I was like, oh wait, this is just Glee. These are so many. Of these are just Glee. Glee's everything. Okay. We didn't don't even. We didn't get a, a DVR until like 2012 or something. So we were taping for a long time. Wow. We still got some of them. I bet if I went to my parents' house and went back on their DVR, there'd still be Glee's on there. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I, I agree with you. I definitely think that's the case. Oh, the, the movie The Prestige was recorded on our DVR for like nine years. Oh, then we had Lord. to get a new one. That's the only Did... reason we lost it. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, so... After they get the transmission rebroadcast, uh, they get everybody off the bus except for Jack and Annie, who have to, after puncturing a bunch of tires, they have to slide off through a floor access panel. Ugh. Cuddling the whole time. I'm like, oh, I wish I was Sandra Bullock right now. I literally did think that. I was like, that's pretty sexy. Like, honestly, Mm -hmm. is this a fantasy? (laughs) You know what this movie has? Sex. It is. It is a. It, it is the. It is a very sexy movie with no sex. Yeah. It's. Say it with me, Dan. It's giving. The. The. Or. The male gaze. Male gaze. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> on a skateboard going fifty miles per hour. Off of a bus. That is a that is a universal. That's a universal want. want. We all want that. People who like women, listen up. That's what we want. Ben, start if speeding you do that, up your skateboards. Mm-hmm. You're you guaranteed, to guaranteed to get laid. <laughs> and make sure it's somebody that you just met that day. Mm-hmm. That is how it works. On a bus. Uh, So they watch the empty bus collide with a cargo plane, which then explodes in a massive fireball. Exciting. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Then Keanu and the police captain head to Pershing Square to drop off the ransom. And you know who realizes that he's been fooled? Who, Dan? I wonder who. Dennis Hopper. Everyone's gasping. Our little Shook. bunny man. Our little bunny man? Hopper. Yeah, I got it. I just. <laughs> so he kidnaps Sandra Bullock to recover the ransom money. Mm hmm. And Keanu sees this, chases him down into a subway station, uh, and then figures out. He yells at who he thinks to be Dennis Hopper to stop. Oh, I don't know how he didn't he... realize that was Sandra Bullock immediately. Thank you. I was literally thinking the same thing. Like, she's got a whole ass bob. Like, right? are we really going to pretend? But okay, I guess we are. Did you think that Emo Phillips was the bomber? What? I, I, who knows? Truly, I mean, he was a man hurt at this point, you know? His bestie had been murdered. Mm-hmm. So I guess we can cut him, like, a little bit a of slack. scrap of slack. So Dennis Hopper hijacks a subway and handcuffs Annie to a pole in the subway and then Hot. starts the train off as Jack runs after him. And then 
after he kills the train driver, he tries to use the ransom money, but then a die pack explodes on his face, meaning all his cash is ruined. Mm. This is the second movie in two days that I've watched with a die pack blown up in someone's face. I love that. That's I do too. very. I don't even know. It's it's That's giving very... criminal. It's giving um, stealing. So then they fight on the roof of the train. Iconic. Which I guess this came out the same time as Mission Impossible came out. Real big year mm. for fights on top of trains. Big year for trains. Yeah, big train train time. Thomas mm-hmm. the Tank Engine, full swing at this point. I love that. For I him. heard that. What are you doing? Sorry, I opened up a text <laughs> and it's or I opened up my phone and it started playing. I was trying to read a text. An auto. Paragon of paying attention. I have such bad <laughs> ADD, Dan. Such bad. My mom is convinced that I needed to get it diagnosed when I was little, and she should have done it, but she didn't want it to hinder my experience in school. Mm. So here I am, undiagnosed. Go get it diagnosed now. No. <laughs> I don't wanna. Too far gone. I don't wanna. Yeah. Oh. I, don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> So, that just means sometimes you're going to hear a little sound accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> they fight on the roof of the train. Uh, Dennis Hopper somehow has Keanu Reeves pinned on top of this train. Don't Sexy. believe that that could happen. Want them to kiss. Um, instead of that, Jack just pushes his head up and he gets decapitated. In the train tunnel. Decapitation is scary. It is. I don't know. I'm not going to add anything else. It's just, that's just how I feel. I don't want to be decapitated. Me either. I like my head the way it is. I like it attached to what it should be on. Yeah. My shoulders. My neck. That's my back. back. Are you playing chicken right now? (laughs) (laughs) you're welcome everyone anyway jack he he gets her vest unbombed but he can't get her off of the pole Uh, me at the club (laughs) i had to cover her mouth scream if I didn't have neighbors to worry about, I would have screamed. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you wouldn't even hit the... You were the only one dancing with me this weekend. I'll say it. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a big dancing group. No. I, well, I got a little dance out of some of them. Mm-hmm. Just I had, you know, quoth TikTok, give me two margaritas. I'm a... <laughs> I'm changing the lyrics. Hit the dance floor. Wow. With the girls. What a, what a Radio Disney edit. Thank you so much. I'm a prey. <laughs> um, so they can't stop the train so you know what they do let's speed it up let's jump the tracks again we gotta nice. jump it they jump up like it goes just horny for going fast at this point I think it's, it is speed you're right they, so they jump jump the tracks get onto Hollywood Boulevard they're unharmed they break out that has the, the crashing of the train has rustled her loose from the pole mm. and they're unharmed they roll around and kiss on the ground as the hot. tourists on Hollywood Boulevard look around. This and shit was so fucking hot. No falling action. Credits roll. That's how I it didn't works. need falling action because we were getting more rising action. Wink. 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 My yeah. I, I was eating it up with a spoon. Like I said, this is a hard movie to describe because it is mostly like driving. Mm-hmm. It is basically just driving. It's a good fucking movie. Good movie. That's speed, baby. Mm. Um, yeah, it's so fun. It, it's just such it, it's such a well-made, well-constructed action. There's no fat on it. It just no. it's propulsive the whole way. Mm-hmm. It, it's fun. It's funny. It takes itself seriously, even but with not in a way that's annoying. Speed. No, not too seriously, but it doesn't like it comments on the absurdity of the situation without ever downplaying it. Yes, absolutely. Oh. 
I am glad that I didn't go into this movie knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. But I think that's because then I got to have, and I'm glad nobody told me I was going to like it. Because then I got to have the whole experience of being like, no, this is actually a really good movie, despite the fact that the premise sounds like it was written by a first grader. Right, but can't men. slow down. Literally, there's a bomb on the bus, and <laughs> and if they slow down, it'll explode. <laughs> That's what I imagine the uh, pitch meeting went like. That's it. That's it. That's the whole that's meeting, the whole, and I, I. That's the whole meeting. You're not gonna, actually you're totally not wrong. Really? Yeah. Well, the they all sit was, up in applause, and here it is. The movie was inspired by a TV movie called Runaway Train. Okay. And the the plot of that is that they think that there is a train Runaway out train. of control, but there's no mm -hmm. bomb on it, and. <sighs> <laughs> After watching it, the screenwriter was like, it'd be better if there was a bomb on a bus. So you had to keep going. I don't even... <laughs> well, you know... Sometimes... The Great art... things come from dumb packages. <laughs> a period. Thank you, Dan. You took the words right out of my mouth. It does feel kind of mean to always preface when you're talking about a movie like this, like it's so dumb, but it does it so well. Yeah. It's like a dumb, but fun. It's like, yeah. I think it's just good that it didn't take itself so ser so seriously because I think this, I mean, it's good that it did take itself seriously because I feel like it did it the right amount. And if this <laughs> movie didn't take itself seriously it would be done like if you tried to make it even a little funny i feel like it would be bad yes yeah if, if, if anyone is quipping in it like well that just happened mm -hmm. immediately one star it's it, if there had been any silly goofy characters i would have turned it off i'd be like dan mm -hmm. this sucks but <laughs> I have some trivia for you. I am so ready. Um, this movie was originally thought of as a sequel to Beverly Hills Cop 2. What? Is you know, Beverly Shadow Hills in Cop that? 3. No. The when they were first was... coming up with it. Okay. I was going to say, hold on. The Hold on here. Um. The guy who plays the bus driver, Glenn Plummer, he had his license taken away two days before his scene was filmed. Amazing. Uh, in 2012 or something, there was a kid who saw his driver, his bus driver had a heart attack. So he ran up and like jumped on the brake pedal and pulled the bus over and like saved all, all the kids' lives. And when he was interviewed, he said he had seen that bus movie. And that's what inspired him to do that. Are you fucking kidding me? Was he talking about this fucking movie? Yes. <sighs> well, I'm glad he acted. Okay. I'll just say that. I'll leave it at that. I'm glad he acted and everyone was safe. Yes, me too. I did not feel inspired to run up if a bus was... If a bus had gone awry while I was on it after seeing this movie, I guess I would have just died. Mm -hmm. Um... Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves both had crushes on each other while filming, but neither one of them made the first move. Nothing came oh, of it. How sad. They're both so hot. Mm -hmm. I just want man. hot people to kiss for me. I do want them to, to kiss. I liked watching them kiss. I was very into it. Um, Alan Ruck's character was originally supposed to be a jackass who gets killed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that he was rewritten to be the dumb tourist who, well, at first they kept the death scene to give it more emotional impact, but then they wrote the death out. I liked Personally, him. Personally, he was run over. I hate that. I'm glad yeah. there was only one person who died, and it was the person I liked the least. Full offense. Yes. Um. Here are a bunch of there are a bunch of people who were considered 
to star in this movie. All right, let me hear it. Okay, the leads were originally written with Jeff Bridges and Ellen DeGeneres as Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. Dan, mm-hmm. we're doing a podcast. Yes. You cannot render me speechless like that because <laughs> it's not going to be entertaining for people if I just don't know what to say. But you did it. You still did it. I am. Those are definitely speechless. casting choices. Um, when this movie came out, I think Ellen was a much more prominent theatrical. She cast. had her sitcom. She also Ellen. wasn't outed for being a bitch yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, Quentin Tarantino was the first choice to direct it after Reservoir Dogs came out, but he turned it down to do Pulp Fiction. There were so many zoom-ins on feet on the on the brakes or on the gas, and they'd all have no shoes on. No one on the bus would have shoes on. That's disgusting. (laughs) Uh, Here are a list of actors that were... I'm not going to read this entire list, because it's like 40-something names. Give me the greatest hits. Okay. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Alex Baldwin. Stephen Baldwin. William Baldwin, Jim Carrey, Nicholas <gasps> Cage, George Clooney, Kevin Costner, Tom Cruise, Johnny Depp, Clint Eastwood, Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, Tom Hanks, Woody Harrelson, Dolph Lundgren, Brad Pitt, Dennis Quaid, Mickey Rourke, Kurt Russell, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Patrick Swayze, John Travolta, Bruce Willis, and okay. others. That was just a few. That was like every fucking celebrity I could think of. And that was about half of the list. God. Okay, let me let me clarify. Every white celebrity I could think of. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wesley Snipes was also offered it. Oh, okay, okay. So there's one non-white person. There's Wesley. <laughs> um, Halle Berry turned down the role of Annie. Okay. Which she said was the dumbest career decision she'd made. Wow, Hallie. Uh, women that were considered and asked. Mm-hmm. Hallie. Le- Hallie Berry, Glenn Close, Joan Cusack, Cameron Diaz, Cam- Carrie Fisher, Bridget Fonda, Jodie Foster, Mariska Hargitay, Jennifer Jason Lee, Madonna, Alyssa Milano, Demi Moore, Gwyneth Paltrow, Sarah Jessica Parker, Julia Roberts, Meg Ryan, Winona Ryder, Brooke Shields, Meryl Streep, Emma Thompson, Leah Thompson, Sigourney Weaver, and God others. Damn. That's they also a looking, huge fucking list. Look at everyone. Yeah, they just wanted to call in every single person in town. Who's free for an audition today? Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sandra Bullock was almost dropped from the movie because they didn't think that Keanu Reeves had enough star power to sell it himself, and they needed a big-name actress to star alongside him. She. This was her breakout role. Really? Mm-hmm. That's so weird to think about because they're both they're the such same prominent age. figures. Yeah. In my life, but but Keanu had been somewhere. Act. He was in Bill and Ted in yeah eighty nine. He was in Point Break. Bill and so Ted. He had already become yeah. uh, a big actor at that point. Mm-hmm. But Sandra Bullock, before Speed, she was in Demolition Man. Yeah, I don't know that one. Yeah. Uh, that's all the trivia, so I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. Will this movie be better or worse or the same as Jonathan Taylor Thomas as Keanu Reeves' role? I think it would be really fun to see JTT in that role. And then at the end, give a big smoocheroo. <laughs> yeah. I would watch, watch it. Kiss. I do. I don't think it would be better. I just would love to see it. You know what I mean? I think it would be the same, honestly. No offense, Keanu. I think this role would be pretty easy to play for almost anyone. Yeah, I think so. I think action movies are pretty easy to do as far as acting goes. What? I said I think that action movies are probably some of the more, like, Less Those are not the exact. Roles. You're changing your words. Okay, I, I said they're the easy. I said it's easy minus <laughs> the like action part. Just like the acting is easy. Does that make sense? It does. Stakes, I get what you're saying. The stakes are high, but also the stakes are low 
for the yes. acting mistakes as well. It's always you emote at 100% and that's it. Yeah. Always seem like when you're fine. Yeah, exactly. That's actually in the script. Mm-hmm. Um, Jimmy Stewart as Dennis Hopper's role. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of fun. He's not insane enough. I would love to. He'd be like a Batman villain. Ah, uh, pop quiz, hot shot. There's a bomb on a bus. I what if the bus goes that. 50 miles an hour, the bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it, 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 it blows up. What do Sounds you do? Sounds like an old-timey Joker. What, 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 what do you do? Ooh, that would be fun. Jimmy Stewart as a Joker. I, th- I think that would be iconic, actually. I do, too. Anyway, uh, on a scale of one to five, bombs on a bus, what do you give it? I give it four and a half. Ooh, high praise. I really liked it. Yeah, I don't know, Dan. I told you, like, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but this one really fucking hit for me. Yeah, no, I get it. I give it the same score. I also give it a four and a half. Look at us. It's fun. It's just so fun. Oh, it it's was. It's a good like, vibes. Good vibes it, movie. The vibes were good, and it's like for an action movie, it was on the same level as like Fast and Furious for me, you know? Mm hmm. Like the vibes were just right. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm uh, going on a, I, I don't know if I'm going on a limb. I think it's better than most Fast and Furious movies. Maybe all of them. I see you haven't seen any of the ones where they go to space. Hmm, disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do have one blind spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that is it for this week's episode of In Conclusion. Next week, we will be back with a real shift in quality. Ugh, I'm from scared. To speed to cruise control. Keanu's not even in this one. No. What's the point? I don't know. If you want to so follow us, we are on Facebook and Twitter at and In Conclusion, on Instagram at In Conclusion Podcast. Uh, I am on Twitter. I'm sorry, I'm on X. Oh, God. Do you know how hard it's been at work to tell Keep people on. to go to X.com? We like so go to Twitter.com. I know. I've been trying to, like, switch my language so that I'm saying what's correct. It's been going very poorly, and I have not been quiet about how much I hate, hate, hate X. Well, I am on X at Dan O'Keefe 86 and on TikTok at not Dan O'Keefe. Anna, where are you? I'm on Instagram at Anonymous Prime 818 and X <laughs> at Autobots Rollout. <laughs> I was so angry, I forgot. Autobots Rollout, capital O for auto, capital B for bots, capital R for roll in the O and roll in the O and out. R zeros. Look at that. Phew. And you can follow my stinky dog on Instagram at just the pup 1017. Okay, thank you. We will be back next week with Speed 2 Cruise Control. In the meantime, <laughs> stay safe and have fun, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't have explosive diarrhea, just regular <laughs> diarrhea.